नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दी चैनल टर्निंग पॉइंट आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर ऑल राइट इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ कटिंग एच टेक्नोलॉजी दैट इज क्वांटम कंप्यूटिंग दिस इज अ वेरी लेटेस्ट एंड रीसेंट टॉपिक नाउ ए डेज एंड मेनी पीपल एंड स्टूडेंट्स डोंट नो अबाउट इट सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विद यू अबाउट क्वांटम कंप्यूटिंग दैट व्हाट इज इट हाउ इट वर्क्स व्हाट आर इट्स एप्लीकेशंस एंड what are its job prospects and what you need to learn in order to get job in the field of quantum computing so without any further delay let's start the video so first of all we should know that what exactly is quantum computing this is a field which includes the aspects of physics mathematics and computer science that utilizes quantum computing mechanics to solve complex problems faster than the classical computers basically it is the amalgamation of three fields that is computer science physics and mathematics and the most important part which plays the role is physics and the concept of quantum mechanics how it works quantum computing uses the qubit as the basic unit of information rather than the conventional bit the main characteristics of this alternative system is that it permits the coherent superposition of ones and zeros the digits of the binary system around which all computing revolves so actually in quantum computing qubits are used instead of conventional bits zeros and ones due to which it makes the computation much faster than the classical computers so this is how it works on the principle of qubits now if we talk about the differences between classical computer and quantum computer then the main differences are classical information is subject to the laws of classical physics the physics concepts that we learn in our 10 plus 1 and 10 plus 2 are used in classical computers like pnp npn semiconductor etc all of these are used to build classical computers however in quantum computers quantum information obeys the laws of quantum mechanics so if you have done your bsc or msc in physics then you must know better about it that what is quantum mechanics classical computers manipulate ones and zeros to crunch through operations as we know that classical computers work on binary numbers that is two bits zeros and ones however in quantum computers use quantum bits or in short we call them qubits and they are known as 0 0 0 1 10 and 11 11 so they are combination of four bits which represent your data however in classical computers only zeros and ones and their strings are used to represent data that means more data can be represented with four combinations 0 0 0 1 10 and 11 classical computing is another name of binary computing in this traditional approach to computing information is stored in bits that are represented logically by either zeros or ones that i have already told you quantum computers work with bits called qubits that can be zeros and ones simultaneously that is done through superpositions so enabling them to perform certain functions exponentially faster due to this qubits the quantum computers are very very faster than the classical computers because they store larger information and they process larger information as compared to classical computers now if i talk about applications of quantum computing then it will be involved in every field that we use nowadays so the first one is cyber security so if you want to make your career in cyber security and if you have additional knowledge of quantum computing then it will be beneficial to you the second one is artificial intelligence and machine learning so if you want to do work in artificial intelligence data science and machine learning with the amalgamation of quantum computing those algorithms will work very much faster next one is drug industry as we know that if you are in the field of pharmacy or pharmacology even then it will be quite beneficial to you next is traffic optimization it will also use in the field of traffic optimization which is a big problem nowadays and next one is cleaner fertilization which is used for agricultural and farming and the next one is better batteries as we know that now all the vehicles are going to shift on evs that is electric vehicles then it will play a major role in the field of 
better batteries in order to make the batteries so that vehicles can run better. And apart from that, there are numerous applications also for solar power generation also. It will make its contribution. So these are the major applications of quantum computing. So if you want to pursue a career in any of these fields, then you must have knowledge of quantum computing as well. Next one is what you need to learn in order to get a job in quantum computing. Then if you have degree in physics, mathematics or computer science, then you can have job in this field. If you have master or doctorate degree in physics, then you can get job in this field. And if I talk about mathematics, similarly, if you have master and PhD in this field, then it will be beneficial for you. And if I talk about computer science, then you must have a degree in computer science. And if you have doctorate, then it will be quite advantageous for you. And along with that, if you have knowledge of AI, ML and data science, then it will be very, very, very beneficial to you. Now, if I talk about jobs in quantum computing, then they are offering the bigger companies are offering very big packages nowadays, which starts from 20 to 40 LPA. So I'll show you the site, job site on which there are various jobs on quantum computing are there. So let's move to the site. So if I talk about jobs in quantum computing, then you can see from here that quantum software engineer. This is a job description, multiverse computing, which is used for virtual reality. This job is available in India with the package 20 lakh to 40 lakh per year. This is a full-time job. And what you need to know about this, if I click on show full description, then you must have three year experience in similar position, master in quantum physics, quantum engineering or related field, knowledge of quantum computing algorithms, particularly gate model and hybrid techniques, advanced knowledge of Python and related scientific computing tools, etc. So you can get information from here. That means if you have good knowledge of programming in Python, artificial intelligence, if you are from computer science field, and if you are from physics field and you have done your master's in quantum physics, then it will be quite beneficial to you. So you can see there are various job positions, senior manager, quantum computing at Bangalore, quantum analyst at Bangalore, Cape Gemini, and then quantum computational scientist at IBM, technology corporation, developer relation manager, quantum computing, NVIDIA, New Delhi, Quantum Networking Engineer, Hyderabad, Quantum Manager at Capgemini, Mumbai, Quantum Analyst at Bangalore, Quantum Computing Consultant at New Delhi, Quantum Computing Researcher at in India, Qubrit. So there are numerous positions available over here. Even JRF position is available at DRDO in India. So I hope from this video, you have got much knowledge about quantum computing, its applications and job prospects. And if you want to know more about any other technology, then let me know in the comment box. Thank you, friends. Thank you so much. Thank you.